Alrighty, here's the 25 foot Winnebago. Got everything all opened up for you so we can take a closer look. We'll go around here on the outside. Uh, this one does have the chassis upgrade, so it is the F450 Super Duty. Pretty simple, no slide out, just like what you're looking for. Um, you'll notice the other one doesn't have one either. Uh, this is gonna be your generator bay right there. That locks up. Uh, this is gonna be where your plug is. You, or no, I'm sorry, propane right there. There's where you fill the propane, and then this is where your plug is gonna be at. So right in there, short power plug. You also actually connect your generator to the plug, um, the same plug that you use for shore power on this one. It's a little bit different. Um, so you actually have to plug your generator in when you are using it for the unit. Uh, regular city water fill, cable input, uh, your gas, of course, too. There's your dumps underneath, black and gray, both from the same spot, of course. You have a black tank flush, which is good. Um, bumper here, also good place. A lot of people like to store their stinky slinky in there. These things come right off, and you store it right in there. Coming on back to the back, you have a nice big door here that goes into a pretty darn cavernous um, underbelly storage. This is actually going to be right underneath of your bed. And you can see it goes back in there even a little bit. So there's like two little recessed areas. Got a good spot for your spare tire too. And then it does have a little bit of a pass through from the side to the back. You got a nice extra wide door right here. Uh, here's your regular water tank fill. This is exterior coax, so if you're plugged into cable um, and you want to send a signal out here for your own TV, you plug the TV in here and then use this coax to plug into that TV. Last before we go inside, nice long storage, good for tools, uh, even like a couple of folding chairs, stuff like that. Your door has a uh, deadbolt on it as well, in addition to the regular handle lock, and let's head on inside. For something with no slide outs, it really does have a lot of room. Uh, we'll start up here in the cab. Nice, comfortable seats. Nothing like fancy like ultra leather or anything, just functional. Um, the stereo system in these is actually pretty darn good. I, I really That's an important thing for me. Maybe not so much for you, but I always love having a good sound system in it. Uh, cab over bed has this movable. This can go out of the way to make it easier to get in and out of bed. There we go. So it's quite a big bed, uh, longer than your normal standard size bed, a little bit long, uh, wider than a full, not quite a queen. And then of course there's a ladder over there that'll attach to right here to make it get in and out a little bit easier. Uh, you do have some vents uh, right above here too. There's no fan in it, but you can open up that for a little bit of extra airflow in the cab over bed. TV on this side too. You do have a DVD player that's uh, already hooked up to it. Some nice overhead storage here as well. Uh, this does have the King Jack antenna on it. It's omnidirectional as well, but you can turn it. Uh, that'll pick up your over-the-air digital TV signals that they have these days. So coming into some of the furniture in the galley, your bed, or your dinette, of course, is going to turn into a bed. Just drop the table down, rearrange the cushions. You have an additional bed. Your sofa here also will jackknife out. It's hard to do it with one hand, but it will go flat down, and you have an additional sleeping space here, and this is actually very nice and wide. Uh, microwave, range fan uh, with the light as well, three burner cooktop and oven. You don't see ovens in uh, RVs a lot these days. They're kind of going the way of the Buffalo. Uh, more cabinetry overhead and down below. A two basin sink that's not the deepest sink, but I do like having the two separate basins there. Uh, that's always nice. Here's a lot of your controls over here, inverter control, AC, heat control. Um, and then your display is just nice and simple. You push the button that you want, it'll show you what your black, gray, fresh, uh, even your propane and battery charge levels are at. So uh, all in one spot, no fancy panels, nothing too crazy. Uh, there is a little bit of a, a little bit of a the veneer on this door is coming off just a little bit. You know, it's all light wood, uh, uh, lightweight wood products. So this veneer over time, it, it just wears out. You could easily get another door slab if you wanted to, or if it doesn't bother you, then that's fine too. It is surely a cosmetic thing. You'll see a little bit of it back here too on the wall. Uh, again, nothing too crazy. It's not anything that's going to be structural or affect, you know, how it's going to sleep or be comfortable in. Nice big overbed storage overbed vent as well and then a t bed in your tv area too a little bit of pantry storage or closet there is closet rod in there too a pretty good size fridge and freezer 
Here's some more, you just see that. That's probably from something that was stuck to it and then it just kind of over time that veneer just peels off. Uh, fridge right here, you got a two-way fridge, so it will be propane and um, and electric, 12 volt. And then of course you can run off your shore power too. Little netted cubby up here, uh, good for storing whatever it is that you feel the need. Here's a little closer look at the floors. Floors are all in good shape. That's always something that you wanna make sure of when you're uh, getting into an RV. Floor goes bad, you got a big problem. Uh, floor is really solid, no weak spots or soft spots in it at all. And last but not least, we'll come in here to the bathroom. Toilet oriented a little bit of an angle to give you some extra leg room. A little bit of a closet here. Sort of like a linen, you could fit towels in there I suppose. There's me, hello. Sink of course. And a pretty good size, nice wide shower basin. Uh, I'm a pretty big guy and I fit in here very well. See, so I got plenty of head space. So at 6'5", uh, if I can fit, just about everybody can fit.